chicken stroganoff is the ultimate comfort food for me. When you serve it over freshly boiled pasta, egg noodles or even rice, I promise you every bite feels like you're being pampered and it comes together really quickly. I'm going to show you how. 300 grams of chicken breasts have been cut up into long strips. I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper before I fry it up in a really hot pan. Heat up a tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet. Add one minced garlic. Heat it just for about 30 seconds and then add the strips of chicken. And of course, by the time you're done cooking the chicken, the garlic will be completely browned. But that's exactly what's going to give this chicken and later on the stroganoff a lot of flavor. I'm going to cook the chicken till it's nice and crispy and browned on both sides. While the chicken is being fried, I'm going to quickly make some cashew cream because I'm using that instead of sour cream. I've got one third cup of cashew nuts that I've soaked for two hours and they're nice and plump. I'm going to blend it with a quarter cup of chicken stock just to give it a boost of flavors. creamy and there are no greeny bits left and quickly slice up the mushrooms the chicken is starting to brown but I want it to brown evenly on both sides it needs to crisp up a little bit more It's been about 10 minutes. Place the fried chicken in a separate plate and allow it to rest while I cook the rest of the stroganoff. In the same pan, heat up another tablespoon of olive oil. Add one chopped shallot and let it caramelize in this hot pan. Add the remaining minced garlic and let it cook for just about 30 seconds until it's fragrant. Now add the mushrooms and toss to coat, turn up the heat, we want the mushrooms to sweat. Just momentarily I'm going to take the pan off the heat and add half a cup of wine. Back to the flame and I'm going to let the wine reduce by about half. Now I'm adding the rest of the chicken stock and I'm going to let it reduce a little. One teaspoon of thyme and the tiniest pinch of grated nutmeg. And I'm adding two tablespoons of rooster sauce. Now I'm adding the chicken back to the pan. Just stir it in. Now just add the cashew cream. Let the cream simmer with the stroganoff now for about a couple of minutes. I'm just seasoning it with a bit of salt. And now the creamy textured chicken stroganoff is ready. I'm going to chop up some fresh parsley to garnish the chicken stroganoff. Just take a handful and roughly chop it up. That's some freshly chopped parsley for the garnish. The chicken stroganoff is ready with a few sprinkles of freshly chopped parsley. This is an easy recipe for chicken stroganoff and I really hope that you try it soon. And when you do, leave a comment here to let me know how it turned out. Ciao!